Hi guys, Deborah Forth here with another tutorial. Today we're gonna make the Lorax, but in pin form. So you won't need too many things today. I would say today is an intermediate project, but with something that we're gonna be able to do without liquid Sculpey. So everything should just press together. Start out with naming our clays. I'm using Cos Clay, so you can use Sculpey Primo, Fimo, whatever your preferred clay is. This just gives me a little more bendability. So we're gonna use pink, orange, white, black, and yellow. Those are the only clay colors we're gonna need. Then we need a pin back, an X-Acto knife, a dotting tool, a smoother. I have this tool, but you can usually blend or smooth with your fingers, and a sewing needle. Now these are gonna help us get these fine details when it comes to making our lower acts. Now the first thing I wanna do is our mise en place, which is when you're a chef, you would get ready to cook your meal by preparing all of your measurements, cutting your vegetables, and that's the same thing as what we wanna do with our clay. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna pull apart our Lorax. So I need two balls of white, two cones of yellow, one ball of pink, 10 small snakes of black, one ball of black, and one large cylinder of orange. Let's make our pieces. So for the pink, for the tongue, literally all we need, you just pinch off that pink, massage it in your fingers. That is all you need for that tongue. Now I don't know about you, but my white never stays white, so I'm gonna do that. I should have done that first. Just pinch off and then make them a little bit more oval, then round for those eyeballs. Two of similar sizes. When I'm doing this, I usually make to make a few, just because I'm not sure what the end result is gonna be, how big I'm gonna make my holes. So we've got our pink, our white, two cones of our yellow. So make that in a ball, then just pinch the one side, roll it in your fingers, and that's one side. Do the same with the other side. And then let's do our Lorax. Roll it into a ball, and then make them a little bit more of a log or a carrot pinch the one end and then just roll those through your fingers because what you're doing is you're tapering that. Now for the small black snakes, just pinch off those little balls and then really apply pressure to the center and just move that out. And then you want to take your X-Acto, just slice. So we need eight that are similar sized and for the top of his head. So we do that for our hair. For our eyes, you'll notice something that Dr. Seuss always did was make those horseshoe eyes. So that's what we wanna do. Very thin, very thin snake. And then even smaller, cause you're gonna fold that in half. And this is where the intermediate part of the tutorial comes, cause it will test not only your skill, but your patience. And I'm going to cut quite a few of these little ones I make mistakes. Now for these hairs, for these longer ones, the top ones, we are gonna bake eight of those, at least eight, because that's what's going on the top of his head. You may want more in case you break them. Now I like to pre-bake these little pieces because then they're easier to stick in. But before you bake them, you just wanna make them curve a little bit. And then, since they're so thin, you don't have to bake them for too long. Just throw them on your baking tin and bake for about 15 minutes and then let them cool and then we will come back to those later when we add them in. Another thing you'll need are his eyelids. So you just pinch off two small circles and then we'll press those flat and use them for his eyelids. Again, I always like to do too many just in case I mess up. Also, in case you don't mess up, you have enough extra pieces to do another project right away or even at the same time. You also want to use one of these little orange dots for his nose. You also want a small ball of black clay for the inside of his mouth. There's one more thing I forgot, that's his arms. So you just need to take two even sized pieces and roll them into snakes and put a little point at the end because those are gonna be furry. And then we'll place those where we're going to use them. So I've placed everything in the order that we're gonna use it first is our actual body and the arms. So where are those legs? We're just gonna take our X-Acto, slice down the center, and then pull those legs apart. And then you just wanna pull them out. Just use a little bit of pressure and then pull them out because you wanna be able to bend them. Oop. 
And if you pull a little too hard, it might come apart. And if you need to even that out, just pull the same amount on the opposite leg. And then for the arms, just take those snakes and then just blend up at the top. And that seam's gonna go away. And then this one right here is gonna be covered by his mustache. And then we'll be able to position these however you like. For his legs, I'm gonna give him some knees. So that's out, bend in, and then for his feet, bend out. Same for the other leg, out, in, out. But the next thing we need to do is put in our pin back, and then that's gonna act as a handle for the rest of the time. So for a pin back, and you want the clasp at the top, I'm gonna make a little indent so I know how big to make my hole, because we're gonna put that in our clay. So use your X-Acto knife again, slice in, try to do it at an angle, so you're digging that out, and save that piece so we can secure our pin in. Open up your pin, place that inside, give it some pressure, really squish that in there, because you want it to lie flat too. Then we're gonna take that part that we just pulled out, roll that into a snake, press that in, and so we're gonna just take that tool. Remember, this is the back. It doesn't have to be pretty. It does have to be secure. I'm gonna close it all the way so that we have a handle for when we're working. Yeah, there's our body. Right now he looks like a turkey. Now I wanna do the eyes next. So you'll see they're towards the top in the middle, but there's some space in between. So you take your dotting tool and just hold on to your Lorax. Don't worry about his texture or squishing him. Press and massage into that oval shape that you made the eyes. And just do one on each side. Then we'll take our eyeballs that we made, press them into their sockets. And remember, this is the hard part. Inside of those eyes, the pupil, is that signature horseshoe. So you take your tiny little unbaked clay and just kind of form that into a U shape. And I'm doing that over my, my ball tool. And then just pinch between your fingers like so. Use your smoothing tool and that will grab on. And then just place that in the middle of your eyeball without indenting your clay. And this is where your needle comes in handy as well. You just use that point, press in with your finger and you've got your pupil. So I'm gonna do that one more time and then we'll work on the eyelids. All right, so he's starting to come together. So now we need to do the eyelids. We just rolled two extra balls of that orange. So you take that little ball, squish it. And then you might only need one of those. So squish it and then cut it in half. And then as it's still stuck, just put it right over your eyes. And remember we have worried slants, kind of right there at the top. I'm going to make sure, make sure it's not covered too much that you can still see. He's got eyelids. And then we're gonna take our other two unbaked small black snakes and just use those as eyebrows. So you take those and just place right on and then just press a little bit so that they stick. So far so good. Now we, before we place our mustache, I want to cut into them a little bit. You'll see his mustache is wispy. So just take that cone and take your cutting tool and just slice, pull out, slice, pull out, slice, pull out, slice, pull out, and let's place that mustache. So it's pretty close underneath the eyes. Smush it down. So then now that we have our mustache placed, we can place our nose and mouth. So we wanna pick our dotting tool back up. I'm just gonna push right in there, take our last little orange dot, and stick it right in there in that little hole that I made for the nose. And then we can do the same for our mouth. Just push, so you push up and under the mustache, push in, pull out a little bit at the bottom, take that last ball of black raw clay, unbaked, that we made, drop it in there. If you've got good aim, drop it, yep, drop it in the hole. Use the same dotting tool and press it in. And then we're gonna take our pink dot, a little big so I'm gonna cut it down and that's our tongue and by using the end of our tool we can press in when we place it it's a tongue there we go we are almost done now for that furry texture so this is where we take our regular sewing needle and for his mustache I'm gonna do that first because I'm gonna hold this for me to be steady 
you take your needle and you just swirl it around and it's gonna pick up that clay and then you can shape that, blend it together, pull it out. And that's it, especially at the ends and where I cut. And then I just wipe that excess clay off on my hand. Let's turn them around, do it on this end. Try not to squish what you've just done, but you remember, you can always go back. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Once we're done with the mustache, we're gonna do that on the rest of his body. So with that same needle, just get off any excess clay. Hold on to your guy, and then just start making fur texture for his body. Since the drawings are just the cross hatch, we're just gonna make these not as close together as the one with the mustache, but still all over on his knees, pull out, pull down. Always go with the way that the body is. So if his body or his feet are going down, the fur wouldn't go up. So just pull that out. Same with the arms. And once you're done with the arms, move on to his head and then leave in between the eyes, nice and flat. And then we're gonna place his hair. So we pre-baked these, but they're still bendy and flexible. When I place them, I'm gonna actually put holes into his head with the needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm gonna pick those up, place those in those holes. If you grab it towards the bottom, they're pretty sturdy and you can stick those in there. Of course, clean your hands throughout the process. You see some of my orange clay is picking up and going onto my black pre-baked little hairs. Yeah, you know, just stick those in the top, do your little pre-made holes. You can use tweezers as well, just don't pinch too hard because these will snap. It's just like you're cutting them because they're that thin. And since we've been holding them, you can go back and redo any of that fur that kind of got squished. Position his mustache, how do we like that? Maybe curled in his hands, make him expressive. And there he is. That's our little Lorax. So I'm gonna bake him for an hour and 20 minutes, let him cool, and he'll be ready to go. Not too bad for our first time together. And if you're rejoining me, thanks again for coming. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell to be informed of when any of my new videos are coming up. You can see me at Deborah Darling Face on most social media platforms and at etsy.com slash shop slash Deborah Darling Face.